quicker you get where you're going. Tell her here. You're gonna love our Southwest spirit. Who remembers those uh, old-time commercials there? Southwest Airlines, with its uh, more than 40-year history, has all kinds of tradition, traditions, tons of them. But now, all of these decades later, something is about to disappear from every Southwest airplane. New at 10 o'clock, Andrea Lucia is live for us at Dallas Love Field to explain what's going away and why. Andrea? Yeah, well, you know, Southwest Airlines has long claimed to be nuts flying for peanuts, as they say. But starting on August 1st, you'll no longer be able to get actual peanuts on your flight anymore. It's a change being made to accommodate flyers with allergies. And we give you peanuts, peanuts in the morning, peanuts in the afternoon. Southwest Airlines' relationship with peanuts dates all the way back to the beginning when the company marketed the fact it only serves peanuts to emphasize its discount fares. And my throat started closing up. But for travelers like nine-year-old Christian Calvert, those peanuts pose a problem. In March, his family says he suffered an allergic reaction to the dust from peanuts being served to other passengers on a Southwest flight. His mother says she had to inject him with an EpiPen. It's hard as a mom to, you know, to have to administer a, a needle into your son's. It's scary to be on an airplane. Lauren Albright of Richardson says she was teary with relief at the news Southwest will soon be peanut free, allowing her family more freedom to fly without worrying about her own 11 year old son's allergy. Kind of wondered why they haven't changed it before, but I was just thrilled to know that they've changed it now. In an email, the CBS 11, a company spokesperson called it a difficult decision, saying that peanuts will always be a part of Southwest culture and DNA. But online so far, the reaction has been very positive. And for hungry travelers, you will still be able to get free pretzels on your flight. Reporting live from Love Field, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News.